The eTrex SE and eTrex Solar handhelds share many of the same features. However, the eTrex Solar offers a few additional features. Both devices can use multi-GNSS satellite systems, which include GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, QZSS, and BIDO. Using the additional satellites provides for improved location performance in challenging environments, but will increase battery usage. In addition to the multi-GNSS, the eTrex Solar also has the ability to turn on multi-band GPS. This allows for access to multiple frequencies from the satellites and improves positional accuracy. The eTrex SE uses two replaceable AA batteries that can offer 168 hours of use in standard mode, or 1800 hours in expedition. The eTrex Solar uses a rechargeable internal lithium ion battery. Battery life is up to 100 hours when using GNSS and multi band. 200 hours with GPS only, or 1800 hours in expedition mode. In sunny conditions, the battery and solar cell provides unlimited battery life when the device is in standard GPS mode. From the main menu, select Solar. Then, select the menu button in the upper right. Now, select Learn More. Here you can learn about your device's ability to solar charge. The eTrex Solar will solar charge whenever it detects sunlight, even if turned off. One hour at 100% solar intensity gains two and a half hours of GPS only. You can maximize your solar gain by facing the screen toward direct sun. Avoid excessive heat, which can prevent charging. With a high enough battery level and solar gain, the device can sustain itself. Your battery icon will display an infinity symbol. When the eTrex Solar detects sunlight, it will start charging even when turned off. One hour at 50% solar intensity will gain about two hours of GPS use. The solar intensity percentage will be displayed along with the total battery gain for the day. Pressing the down arrow will provide the past seven day history. By pressing down again, you can see your daily battery gain. These are the additional features that the eTrex Solar offers. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.